tonight's tactical enhancement is a Rob Roy. <laughs> Tonight, we're playing Warhammer, 8th edition, 2,500 points, Dark Elves versus Andrew's Empire. Okay, um, so start with the Great Swords. Uh, not sure how many there, I think about 28, 26 or something. Uh, with a BSB and a Warrior Priest. Yeah, 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 all friendly there, yes. Uh, full command, of course. Behind them is the uh, Inner Circle Knights. Uh, looking very, very dusty. Yeah, they're up in on it. just ridiculous. They've been through a sandstorm or something. They must be Araby on the way here or something. I don't know. Uh, somebody cast a spell, who knows. Uh, so I got Warrior Priest in there as well. Uh, right, the usual. Uh, Stank. Stank, yes. Yeah, everybody's good. favorite. Good name for it. Um, just standard knights. Mm -hmm. uh, with a champion. Um, just leaders with a champion. Mm -hmm. Repeater Bolt. Uh, repeater Bolt Throw. Repeater Pistol. Uh, yeah, so we'll have one of those things for you in a minute. And um, Demigrift Knights. Which cool. a little bit worse for wear at the moment. Yeah, missing yeah, one's yeah. missing a weapon and... Um, Bits of breaking off his <laughs> lost his shield and weapon. Oh, uh, well, you can be the first casualty. Uh, yeah, but it's the LC there. And then the Spearman. Yeah. Uh, 39 of these, I think. Yeah, these nice. classic fellows, they're great. Uh, then uh, General, on the Pegasus. Him again, he's always a lord today, is he? Oh, he's a lord today, yeah. So, yeah, have, trying something. you have a big sword, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, I did give him uh, some decent stuff at the time. Oh, yes. Uh, Wizard Lord. Oh, God, okay. He's, he's taking Law of Death. Um, Engineer with these two war machines. Okay. Oh, yeah. And uh, the blasty thing of death. You didn't realize that was hexagonal, that barrel, but there you go. That's nice. And that's, that's it. It's actually pretty small for an empire only I've taken some. Yeah. Um, some stuff here. Yeah. Wondering what's missing from it though. Maybe the hand. Uh, do you have the sword and shield guys normally? No, normally I have them for giants. Ah, for giants. Oh well, we won't miss those. Um, I figured they'd be pretty useless themselves since you always strike first and finish before. Ah, you get the slaughter on before they even get the strike. So uh, I have been getting bogged down in a few of those immovable objects lately. Yeah. Uh, okay. As for the knife years, um, <clears throat> we have two units of Uzis. Big unit of cold ones with a banner to make it stick around. Another unit of cold ones with a banner that, I don't know, helps them not be stupid. Uh, 25 of these chaps, put a stick of character in there somewhere, I guess. Two units of my brand spanking new, what are they called? Dark Riders. Dark Riders, yeah. They're dark Riders because I've been meaning to have some more stuff to be a prick to other people instead of just trying to use L's as rank and file. Uh, two repeat bolt throwers. Oh, we've got uh, five shades. The camouflage is hard to see where they are. The usual standard bearer with bonus wood elf, level four mage, level two mage, two assassins. Uh, and, you know, a few nasty governments on the way that we'll mention if they have an effect on the game. Um, and uh, I've taken Law of Shadows and Law of Death, I think. Shadows on the uh, level four and uh, Death on the level two. And um, yeah, I've got some thoughts about this. I've got a mage on a cold one somewhere that's assembled but not painted. I think I'm gonna to have to use that because I'm gonna use these close quarter type spells in an attacking army. I'm gonna to need to put them where the attack is. Anyway, on that note, we will deploy and roll for turn one. Okay, so I made Andrew deploy first. The table's very even, Andrew set it up. Uh, he put this hard hitting phalanx on this flank, chunks of infantry, War machines where my infiltrators can't get them. And then a massive cavalry surge down his left flank. And on my right flank to counter it, we've got the infantry with a level two mage of death. Uh, standard bearer, fast cap in the flank, some shooters in the forest wondering what to do. And these guys hoping they don't get blasted before they get a chance to charge something. A couple of uh, repeat bolt throwers are deployed later on in the hope they don't get mangled straight away. And they can blast something over there, or over there really, it's a target rich environment. Uzi's in the building with a level 4 mage of um, Shadow. This lot on the flank to do flanky things. And these guys wondering where they're supposed to go today because Andy's very cleverly arranged it so they don't have any easy pickings. On that note, let's roll the dice and see who gets turn 1. I think you get a plus 1, unfortunately. Mm, 5, 
versus a uh, bugger, the idiot first turn. Well, that's going to suck. End of Empire turn one. So bunched up up here. Now I used um, Vanguard, uh, which I forgot to film before. Ooh. Right, so Andrew is giving um, protection detail to the uh, the young nobleman by the older nobleman <laughs> so that they don't get repeat uh, crossbowed to death before they get within eight inches and blast away with their black powder. Uh, it looks like there's some protection going on here, so I can't just scoot around the side of it with my vanguard. Uh, and the slot's moving up. Uh, now, he magicked one of my bolt throws that was here out of existence, and he popped a couple of cannonball rounds through here, killed three. It was annoying, could have been worse. Could have been better if they'd blown up, but you can't get everything. Now, this prick's advanced a bit, presumably to try and get within 24 inches. I'm not sure if he's there yet, but he's going to be a problem when he lets loose. So I don't have enough things to do everything I need to do in one turn. And I'm going to have to work out what I'm going to do back to him this turn. Um, yes, it's all a bit cunning at the moment. I'm not quite sure how we're going to pull it off. I never am fighting against Andrew's Swiss Army knife. It's a fucking nightmare. But then again, all of Andrew's armies are, which suggests to me that maybe Andrew's the problem. I'm sure I am the problem. I've always been the problem. <laughs> Well, in Warhammer, if you're the opponent's problem, that's a good thing. So, um, that note, we'll move over to uh, Dark Elves turn one. Turn one for the Dark Elves. We've moved up to try and capitalize on some maneuver opportunities in here. Give this guy some considerations on what to charge. We moved these guys back a bit out of range of that horror show. Although I'm not sure if they're in range or not. I didn't measure for that. Moved up these guys and shot a bit. I think they plinked off one. Uh, we did some maneuvering up here to get around the line. That tank's gonna be a problem, but this ridge here is impossible to wield vehicles. Everything else is okay with it. So it gives us a bit of protection against the steam tank, but still we don't have a great solution with what to do here. Now, as for this, but we tried two spells. The first one I made Andrew use up all of his dice by casting Death Magic Spell on that guy. Um, and this mage cast Pendulum, but Andrew used it as Spell Scroll, so at least I've got that out of the equation. It does leave these chaps in position to kill this Bolt Thrower rather easily in its own turn. Uh, then we shot these Crossbow at this and I hope to do some damage. And the Repeat Bolt Thrower did take a couple of wounds off, but it's really not quite enough at this juncture. So uh, early days could go either way. Everyone's sort of jostling for position at the moment. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's going to be important next turn. Yeah, it's all right. So it's the end of turn two, Empire. Now he's been chipping away at me with his various gunnery. These guys reduced. Uh, that was the steam cannon off the tank, and this was the uh, multi-barrel thing of doom. Andrew's arranging to stand off here because they're not quite close enough to do reliable charges. And he did charge his general into this unit. These guys failed their charge against these guys who did feign flight. Now, some magical whoop you do got cast around the place. Did anything get through? Oh, no, that's right. These guys got a five plus ward. That's the main thing that's going on. Oh, the knights do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? The knights? Yeah. Really, these guys have a five plus ward? Yeah. But you did on these guys? Yeah. Okay. Now these guys polished off the bolt throwers and have reformed to charge this building. Uh, the diminutive familiar is going for a wee. And uh, Andrew's looking up the rules on charging buildings with cavalry, because that's going to get complicated. And that's about it. We're over into turn... Oh yeah, now the, ma the main reason his general charged this unit was because he realised there's he's going to have a great deal of trouble getting away from the level 2 Mage of Death, which has spells that basically bump off characters with ease. Terrifying stuff, I thought Lord of Life was bad. Uh, so he charged this unit. My assassin jumped out, did a wound, which is, I was hoping to do two. Uh, in return, the general did pretty much everything that it could pump out, four wounds out of a potential five, I think. Uh, lost by one, failed its morale, scarpered, didn't run far enough, and got chased down and killed by these guys. So they've, they've just gone and got the Pegasus general, and it's only the second time in a dozen or so years, I've actually managed to kill that bastard. Normally he just charges around, does horrible things to me. 
So it's already a good day. Now we'll see if we can turn it into a better one. All right, it's turn two, I think, for the dark elves, and it's getting pretty interesting already. Uh, this lot had to pull back after Andrew had done his steam tank maneuvers. These guys decided to run right up the guts. Oh, on the off chance these guys survive, they can try and kill something. The odds are not great, but the odds around here were even worse. Tried to do the same trick with these guys, but they were just too slow, wouldn't work. So I brought them up to run interference along here. Now, this lot were fixing to get slaughtered when one of these two units charged the building. I thought about putting Occam's Mind Razor on them, but that might not work. And even then, that might not work even in the fight. So I brought them out, tried some magical whoop to do, that didn't work. Over here, we charged these guys into these knights, and we went three for three, which would be fine, except there's a priest in there that's going to be a bit of a problem. I brought these out to start maneuvering on this flank and start shooting things, and uh, maybe even charge into that melee. I'm not sure if that'll help or hinder. Uh, the good news is, this lot charged into the knights, uh, killed them, uh, actually chased off any snake eyes and didn't get it. I only killed one, but uh, there's just so much massive attackers that they were gone. And then we followed up into the pistoliers who don't get to shoot, so we'll be killing the parents and the children next turn. Um, and this lot have maneuvered around, ready to try and do a run on the guns. We'll see if that works. So the tricksy things are half working, half not. Um, I'm having to fight not in a normal battle line way because it's just not going to work against Andrew's army. Over to turn three, I think, for the Empire. Just going to interrupt proceedings here to show that this guy just fired 26 out of the potential 30 shots at these two guys. Now, he killed him outright, but unfortunately there's no rules for overshot. Because yeah, that would be hilarious. Place, it? <laughs> oh my God. Right, so that combat's locked in. They posh off the last guys there, of course. This combat was a tie. In the magic phase, uh, level four over there tried to assassinate my mage over here with his sneaky magic. Uh, nearly did it actually. He rolled really fucking well uh, to cast and to the number of wounds. He rolled seven dice to wound on a four plus. Then I did a good number of wards in return. Still took a wound off that mage, so that was that. Now with these guys hidden, this lot uh, changed formation to try and box these guys in. Um, steam tanks are after him. These guys are feeling a bit picked on right now. Uh, probably less so than the guys who just got absolutely annihilated into their uh, individual atoms by that cannon. Uh, that's about it. Ready for that turn? Over to Dark Elves? Yeah, yeah, pretty hard for, yeah. Yeah, well, we, we rolled, uh, what, uh, four for the Winds of Magic. Yeah. Uh, let's hope I get some Winds of Magic. I'm going to need it if I'm going to uh, turn this interesting fight into an outright win. Anyway, on to Dark Elves turn three. Turn three Dark Elves. Uh, we kept these guys here, fired off the pendulum and took a bunch of wounds off of these. That guy's in his last wound and running at the moment. Kept these uh, chaps, uh, or moved them perhaps back into the, uh, the building because they can't really do much else. Uh, maneuvered these chaps so they weren't going to get charged. They will probably get blasted. They're just outside of 12 inches. If I saw Miracle I survive, they'll be able to charge it. Although he might block with these guys. We'll see what happens. Uh, we maneuvered this lot up to start working toward the artillery. They'll have uh, they'll be able to kill off one of the guns next turn. We'll see how we go. Uh, that is a real problem, that beast of a thing. In the melee here, I did charge in the crossbow to get the bonus of a flank attack and a charge. Probably killed nothing the whole turn with all the stuff. And Andrew turned around and killed one of these chaps with his priest. No, with a knight. I wasn't expecting to get a rank bonus, but still. Um, more importantly, he bumped off two of the knights, which is most, most irritating. Um, for no reply. So we, we passed the morales, but we did lose that by one. Which rather has changed the dynamic over here. These knights are likely to mess me up next turn. Uh, and is now first half of turn four, I think it is, for the Empire. Okay, end of Empire turn four. Um, by some miracle of all the shooting, they only popped off one of these. 
which funnily enough gave us the clearance we needed to get past this bloody blocking unit. He's shooting past this blocking unit and still getting me, so we can actually charge that if we're lucky. Uh, canister bumped off three of them, that was frustrating. In this fight, they killed a bunch of crossbows, but we still somehow rolled well on our morale, so we're still there. Magic, he did that sneaky thing again. His mage is just trying his damnedest to kill Elvira over here. Uh, she saved all but one wound. That thing's still running away. And the tank just went like the clappers to try and get these guys. We didn't quite make it. We can perhaps draw a... Uh, I if we can survive and get a tie. Let's see how we go. All right, so on that note, uh, over to Dark Hell's turn four. End of Dark Hell's turn four. And okay. That fight went on, both sides stayed there, although he did kill off the last of, no, actually, the, the last surviving crossbow guy ran away. We got off our charges, killed off two cannon. That was reassuring, although, oh, hey, can we do a panic test for this guy? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's, he's loving the death of his ment mentees. Um, yeah, we, we, are, we have been chipping away at the knights, but it's not enough, so we still lost. Um, so that guy's still running. They didn't do anything. We popped these guys out and we did cast a big template of kill anything that fails an initiative test. And we only collected three. I was hoping to take out the mage, but the bastard survived. There's really mage versus mage today. Bit of crossbow shooting did nothing. And that's, that's actually about it. Um, the, the big deal is these, this guy survived. That saved me a lot of points, like about, I don't know, 330 odd points, three, actually 345 odd points. And stuck around that otherwise wouldn't have which in the moment we'll see how significant that is and then these two cannon went we got the charger with the infantry there as well uh, which actually really didn't matter in the end because these last two dark riders were not enough left to polish up that last gun so Andrew's got a lot of models on the table however that's my casualty pile it looks impressive but I've only got two units of inventory outright destroyed and two bolt throws outright destroyed. Everything else is just hemorrhaging wounds or doing okay. I lost one assassin, but all my other characters by some miracle still here. Actually, all your characters are still here as well, aren't they? Except my general. Except my general, which gives me oh, no, 100 points. So, Andrew, what did I get in terms of points? Uh, not going to tell you. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't want to tell Andrew, I wanted to catch her on the camera just in case he swears at me. Yeah, I'm going to swear at you anyway. But, uh, 9.34. 9.34. Uh, now, against that, I got 530 points of stuff killed. So it's not a massacre, I haven't doubled it, but it's a win. Right, so we've just looked it up, and you actually only need to get 100 points more to get a victory, because we, we've been getting this wrong for a long time. I only got corrected about, I don't know, a year ago. So by some cunning manoeuvring, I've actually managed to score a victory against Andy's Empire Army. That's rare. I'm going to be chuffed about that. Good work, Chris. Thank you very much. Ugh, it's just full. Anyway, Andrew, what have we learned? Oh, so this was a game against mage against mage, really, wasn't it? We spent most of the time trying to kill each other's mages with magic. We spent most of the time trying to kill mine. I only had a swing at the end. Um, yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm still struggling to kill that mage of yours. Because even in close combat, she's pretty nasty because she's got that. Yeah, I always take that thing that keeps her alive. Yeah. Um, the, one, the one that if you if you do manage to um, save your ward in melee, then it inflicts the same wound back yeah, on the that's person just, attacked. Them. That's just nasty. Um, but no, that was, a, that was a good game. It was a good game to not have to fight against Hydras. <laughs> yeah, they're they, 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 yeah, they're getting a bit tired since they're playing this all the time. What? So didn't get a chance to really do much. Most of, your, uh, most of your army was actually on the other side of the table. Yeah, and I, I picked my fights a lot more carefully than usual because normally I just charge in with a battle line and do rather poorly against the crazy amount of magic and other stuff that Andrew has. Those priests really maximise the uh, survivability and carnage of the units they're in. Uh, but today the steam tank did absolutely bugger all. I think we just steamed a few guys to death and that was about it. Um, yes, uh, and then they got fully gunned by so much firepower they were dead anyway. 
Uh, these guys did nothing as well as they usually do. I'm struggling to figure out how to make these guys actually achieve things. Yeah, no, they're definitely very niche, those guys. Wow. Uh, I suppose I can't complain. It's, uh, it's a rare day. It's a good day for me. All right, well, on that note, I think we better pack it up. We have to go and meet people. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Feel free to hit like, subscribe. Keeps the algorithm going, encourages other people to watch it. And time to call it a day.